Now, your weather alert forecast. I'm 3 News Now Chief Meteorologist Jennifer Zeppelin with this latest weather update for 3NewsNow.com. A severe thunderstorm watch has been issued for a large portion of eastern Nebraska, western Iowa until 10 o'clock tonight. does include the Omaha metro area, so the storm threats right now, if anything does become severe, 60 plus mile per hour winds, maybe up to 70 miles an hour, one to two inch diameter hail, a lot of uh, least heavy rainfall with some of these storms could maybe even see about an inch in a very short amount of time an isolated tornado threat and I think the highest threat for that would be down to the south between Nebraska City, Fall City, Maryville and Beatrice. Now as far as how the overall future cast kind of plays this thing out, a couple of storms continue to line up between Beatrice and even just to the southwest of York. This will be five, six o'clock in the evening. Those storms continue to move eastward. A few showers might clip the Omaha Metro, but I do think we'll start seeing some drier conditions with some heavier storm complex is staying south between Platt Smith around Nebraska City. So again, if these storms become severe, these would be the ones that would have the greatest potential for that. Then it really does start to decrease pretty quickly. After 10 o'clock, we lose the heating of the day. That's when temperatures start dropping off. Then we have another wave passing through early in the morning on Wednesday. So there still could be a few showers, maybe an isolated thunderstorm around at 6 a.m. Temperatures mid to even upper 60s. As we head to about lunchtime, we do see an improvement. Skies start clearing up a little bit late in the afternoon and we're expecting high temperatures, much warmer, upper 80s to even low 90s. The heat and humidity will be intensifying here over the next few days and those winds are going to be strong tomorrow, south about 10 to 20 miles an hour. Could see a similar situation on Thursday morning. Another round of showers and storms breaking out, another weak disturbance passing through. Managed to make it to 91, see some sunshine late in the day, but a very windy day. Could have some gust up to 20, 30, maybe even 40 miles an hour. Winds calm down and that is when the heat starts to build in here for Friday. 93, so we've got an extended stretch of 90s coming our way. So this will be the warmest stretch of weather we've seen so far uh, this summer season and even into the spring months. And we're looking at highs throughout the weekend in the mid 90s, both Saturday and Sunday. Not a whole lot of rain in the forecast, just a slight chance into early next week.